What's going on guys? Welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. In the previous video, uh, we fought a battle. It actually wasn't too difficult or anything, but we got some nice promotions out of that with uh, Ojama, Mr. Meat Man, and Fox, or Roderick, um, taking the lead. They're both captains now, and some of our most, um, you know, advanced dudes out there, uh, which is nice, but... What is even better is that because of that, we now have some upgrades available that I completely forgot about. That video was so long, I just wanted to finish it uh, when the time was there. But here we are. We can now actually upgrade our squat size to six. So we're doing that. That's a no-brainer. And because one of them is a, um, a ranger, we get uh, the hunter's instinct, which gives you uh, range attacks against flanked enemies do extra damage. And sword attacks have a bonus 10% chance to critically hit. Pretty damn good, but I'm not entirely sure we want this right now. The specialist one gives you plus 10 aim and the ability to critically hit when taking overwatch and reaction shots. Basically, that's really good. Uh, for, you know, the, specifically the reason that it makes your overwatch shots a lot better. And you do depend on those a lot. So I'm going to purchase this. The ranger one, we're going to put that on hold for now. Because there are still more out there that uh, we will want... And we don't really have unlimited supplies, sadly. Sadly, if only we did. Uh, we could. Hello, Commander. Now that I think about it, we could actually um, stop talking to me, lady. When the power core is under Please, lady. The engines engaged. At first, I thought maybe it was a stabilizer issue. We're recruiting that guy. I think it's all just part of the alien's grand design. The core itself may not be entirely stable, which would explain why the aliens went through so much trouble to isolate it in the bow. Yeah, I did not at all listen to what she was saying. I'm sure it was something real exciting, though. Uh, we got some new rookies who are uh, ready to, to rumble and, and all that. So, let's see. What do we need? Specialist, specialist. Uh, they will instantly become a sergeant. I'm not seeing a lot of high uh, grenadiers. Like, this is our highest one now. Malaki, big country. Oh, no, it's Hammer, of course. Uh, we could use an extra one, though. All right, so we now have a rookie ready to go. We are about to get better weapons, and we're about to um, complete our covert action. Also, we used the uh, skull mining thingy, or the skull jack, in the previous video, which was uh, pretty good. Definitely pretty good. So we got a little bit further into the uh, the main mission. Okay. That's actually really good, so... So because we used our skull jack, the Avatar project went down a little bit. I love to see that, and it's about to go down further. Shut up, warlock. You don't get to talk to me ever. Uh, so we could get some supplies. We could get assorted loot, which I'm not sure that means, but I feel like it's really not that great. Um... I think that'll just give you some weapon attachments and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go with the supplies, I think, for now. Uh, we have over 100 alloys, so I think we're, we're set there. So we'll start with getting extra supplies. Because we don't have that many. We have, like, a decent little chunk, but not really that much. Hey. Hey. All right, so we got Jane back, we got Ref, Ref, Ref uh, Mr. This Guy back, and we got a few supplies. The, um, the Avatar Project progress has been reduced, which is something that I was really looking forward to because it was starting to get up there. Now it's time for a new one. Uh, breakthrough, modular sniper rifles. Interesting. I like this one too, though. It allows you to get more resistance contacts, which is something that we desperately need. Uh, modular sniper rifles. It allows you to get one extra upgrade slots um, slot on every sniper rifle. That's pretty cool, but I feel like we really need to make contact with more regions, so that's what we are going to focus on here. Uh, let's give the, the command to a somewhat uh, rookie. It has to be a sergeant, but... Um, 
Honestly, I like both of these. I like going with a sniper for sure. Let's give Marie the chance to prove herself. And we're going to give her some nice weapons and all that to uh, to take along with her on this mission. Uh, AP rounds are battle scan. I like the battle scanner. We haven't really used it, and I, I would like to, so we'll do that. So she's going to go. Then uh, we can send an extra uh, soldier who gets more willpower. Uh, let's see. I, I don't feel comfortable sending out a specialist or a grenadier. Because these are like the only two that we currently have available. We could send someone that is slightly lower. Uh, which might not be a bad idea. Let's send Nicole Young maybe. She's pretty cool. I like her. And we will send... Okay, make weapons available. I wish I didn't have to do that every time. I will give you the, uh, the John. You got a gremlin. Uh, let's take a med kit as well, because you're probably going to need it. And we'll give them some supplies to make sure nobody gets captured. There's a moderate chance of an ambush that we're going to have to fight our way out of. But we got a pretty decent team here. Not amazing, but pretty decent. So I think we might be okay. I'm going to send them out. And I'm just going to hope... And pray that they do not get ambushed. Because if they get ambushed, it could, it could be bad. But they do need the experience. Alright, let's uh, finish up our weapons. Boom. Team is actually quite efficient. These magnetic-based weapons are a lot like the early railgun prototypes. They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. Yep. So that's actually the way these weapons function during missions as well. And for me, getting these is, was actually sort of a first step to really, you know, feel like, oh my god, I'm making progress now. So we got upgrades to all our weapons. We also have new research available, Gauss weapons, which will probably take a while. We got the mag auto pistol, the bullpup, normal pistols, uh, shotgun, which turns into a shard gun, magnetic rifles, which were the normal rifles, and uh, we un inspired Gauss weapons. Uh, this one's now instant. I like that a lot. Instant is good. After a careful examination of the specialized advent unit identified as the purifier, I have found clear evidence of genetic modification to the subject's thermoregulatory gland. These changes, in conjunction with their specialized armor, give the purifiers an impressive heat tolerance, bordering on total immunity. That's actually kind of cool that they're themselves immune to their, uh... Abilities reinforced underlay active The advent purifier armor features a number of improvements designed by advent to enhance their toleration or their tolerance of Environmental hazards we've merited some of these changes to increase the durability of our armor underlays all vest utility items now provide one extra health Great. I like that a lot and Gauss weapons are inspired. I believe that this will give us uh, the sniper rifle and the cannon uh, Because those are not upgraded yet. So we want this for sure. I will make that our highest priority. Hey, Commander. So now we get to upgrade our weapons, which is something that is quite costly, and which is the reason that I wanted to save some of our uh, some of our supplies, especially like the rifle. We need that. So many different people use the rifle. It's rookies. It's uh, specialists. And is there anybody else? I think that's about it. But either way, like we want this upgraded, so we'll do that. Then, this is like a one-time upgrade too, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, the pistol is an option, the shotgun's an option. I am personally leaning to, uh, towards the shotgun. Because I like to use rangers, and this is such a great upgrade, so I'm gonna go with that. Uh, the next one is gonna have to be the pistol, because the bullpup, the psi amp, the gauntlets, and the auto pistol are all for classes that we barely have. Uh, whereas the pistol is really good for our sharpshooters. So we want that for sure. Thing is, we need more supplies. And it probably is going to take a while before we get more. Six more days. All we can hope for is that we can actually purchase that before uh, we run into anything too bad. Even though I'm not sure that we will, but oh well. Hey, the debris has been cleared and that actually gives us the supplies that we need, so... I guess I was getting upset over... No I wasn't upset. I wasn't upset. Don't listen to anybody that says that I was. Um, Commander? Here we go. We can actually upgrade the pistols now. That's just an instant thing to do. 
And let's see, we have two med kits, that's good. I want to keep some supplies just in case I need a med kit for an emergency, so I'm not gonna do anything else right now. Actually, I forgot to do the engineer thing. We have engineers standing by now. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or- Shen, please, I already fixed it. Stop talking to me. Alright, so three days we get more supplies, and then eight days we get even more. And there's a supply drop somewhere in there, which is where you get the majority of your uh, supplies. Give me the goss. Alright, so now we got the mag cannon, which is the, you know, the, the cannon. The goss rifle, which is the sniper rifle, and the timnotic rifle, which I'm not sure what that is, actually. Oh, that's for Reaper, of course. Okay. Breakthrough for modular shotguns. I am not turning down a a breakthrough. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Ignoring breakthroughs just seems silly because those are gonna save us a lot of time in the long run. Oh boy. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Well, they're only about halfway done, so it's really not the worst thing in the world. Thanks, Commander. The Workshop is done. Is uh, yes. Do that. So, two staffing gremlins. I want to see how this works, though. I want to see if this is actually... I have often wondered why the elders would entrust their knowledge within a being so temperamental. So unmoved by our pursuits. So now we have a gremlin working away at the power relay, so we get extra power there. Thanks to the workshop. So actually, having a workshop in the middle definitely seems like a, a good idea. And we don't have enough supplies to build anything, even though I really want an infirmary to speed up um, injuries, or recovery from injuries, rather. Uh, and we need resistance comms as well. Laboratory, Scilab, I want to get to that eventually. So many things that we have to do, and so little supplies. Oh well. Many of our right, can't do that. I know, I know. Stop talking to me, please. Oh no. Well, here we go. It does turn out that there is going to be an ambush on our covert mission. Alright, Operation Night King. So I was actually... It says something about night in the covert action, which is why I would su uh, not suggest, but expect some lost. Uh, so having a sharpshooter is going to prove to be a good idea. Let's see how we go. Usually these missions do not take super long. Not as long as a normal mission. I just want to make sure my people make it out alive. I am starting to get a little bit worried. Because the assassin is on the prowl. And we don't necessarily have any decent defense against her. Yeah, we gotta go pretty far. We're, we are actually not concealed either. Let's go. So an option would be to move through that apartment building, but I'm not sure that I really want to. I'm going to put you there. One thing's for certain, I want them to stick close to one another, and we're going to have to be really careful. Oh, that's bad. Alright, let's do this. I want the perfect spot to overwatch these guys. Also, this is a specialist, so they should get the uh, extra ability. Plus 10 on Overwatch, plus an aim, that is, and they can critically hit. And I'm not sure that this will actually do, because I'm not sure if this guy will be able to see people down there. So we might have to switch to our pistol. And there's not really a great spot. Maybe if we just sit next to our buddy, that might be for the best, so that's just what I'm gonna do. Again, I'm just trying to be careful. I just want to make sure these guys make it out alive. I'm on it. Please don't drop off something crazy. 
That's all I ask. Be something reasonable. One guy? Oh, two guys. Okay. I was starting to get a little bit worried that maybe Advent was having financial issues. Okay, good. Oh, that's not... Okay. He almost dodged it, but he's like halfway dead. The guy's in the, in the room with us. Which is obviously not good for him. Uh, he's got, let's see, seven health. Apparently, we can't kill him. I, I fear that I sent them away too quickly because they now... I don't think they have the upgraded uh, weapons that they would normally have. I'm going to put you there. That'll work. That'll work. We're going to use our Lightning Hand's ability to shoot for free. If it's a crit, great. If it's not a crit, that's still fine. Do it. Alright, it's still good. It's still fine. We get to shoot again. Goodbye, buddy. See you in heck. Alright, so this guy's probably going to want to move. Because his positioning is, is not great. If I move here, he'll move... Maybe back here? I don't really know. I kind of feel like I should keep my guys close together. I'm going to overwatch here. Let's see what this guy can do. There we go. Oh, damn it. Okay. I mean, she is great with the overwatch shots. So I was hoping that that would be an instant kill. But that's okay. Because now we can flank him and there's not much they can really do about that. The lost are on their way. We need to wrap this up. Immediately. Sorry, guy. See you later. That was not the safest maneuver ever, but it worked. And that's all that I care about. Again, keeping them close together. Let's go into Overwatch. There will be lost very soon. Yep, here we go. That was a pretty big failure. There's about five of them. Five should be doable. Uh, let's put you there. All right, 94%, go. Boom, beautiful. 94, go. Damn, okay, actually, that could have been bad, but it's good, we're good. Let's take down the low health ones first, 88. Yes. Marie actually earned a promotion already. That's a, if it hits, it's a kill, so go. Yes. And this is the reason that sharpshooters are insane against the Lost. <laughs> They're unbeatable. When it comes to the Lost, I don't think anything beats a sharpshooter as far as I know. That stuff is good. Alright, let's get you in there. Uh, Nicole, Nicole needs to reload though. But we'll get to that. Let's get you over there. Don't think we really have a reason to overwatch with no enemies nearby. Oh! I take that back. I mean, I take it back too late, but, you know, I take it back. Alright, let's see. You're a professional sniper, right? Let's see what you can do. 58. Take it. Miss. That's bad. John does not have an auto loader on it, or that would have been just perfect. Uh, how are you going to hit him from here? See, I like to see this. I like to see how you're going to hit him from here. Sure, take the shot. How does that? Enemy eliminated. I feel like these these trucks are very poorly made. Heading there now. No enemies nearby. Reload. We're starting to, to get closer to the extraction zone, but there will be more loss, no doubt. Let's put you there. I want to try and maybe use the sniper if we can. As much as I love the pistol, and I do, being able to use the, the actual rifle would be nice as well. All right, let's get you... We don't really have a lot of great positioning here. There we go, found him. I almost got a little bit cocky, but I'm glad that I didn't. If that hits, that's great. Yes! 
Oh my god, I love Marie. This is gonna be my, my new favorite sniper. Yeah, back there is pretty good, actually. There will probably be lost next turn. Yep, sure looks that way. But we can actually, if we just bolt straight for the extraction zone, then the lost can't really touch me. It's super risky to do so, but I'm willing to try. The sooner these people make it back home, the, the happier I will be. No cover to speak of, really. Will they make it? It's it's. It would be cut, cutting it close though, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna put her right in the open. I'm sure that's a bad idea. But it's mostly lost here. Not not a lot of uh, whatever those other dudes are called again. Hey, see we can make it there. Oh look how close that is. Look how close we're cutting it. But I just knew in my heart that we could make it. What's up, Lost? Oh, there's Advent now, too? Well, doesn't really matter. I'm out of here. See ya. I don't care about killing every enemy during this mission. I'm just trying to get away with a success on this covert action, and we did that. We totally did that. Let's go, Gremlin. Come on, buddy. So we left six enemies alive. I'll take it. That's flawless. Glory to the resistance, dude. Can we see the... You actually can't see the uh, the thing. The Sky Ranger. That's a beautiful picture. That's just beautiful. I can't wait to see that in action. And just like that, we did it. That actually wasn't too bad. I feel like we got away from there. Pretty much, that was like a best case scenario, really. No injuries, no nothing. We just left. The troops to expect the we got promotions for both. Well done. So Young is sort of a combat person, so we'll give her Haywire prot Protocol. And Leroy... Or Marie Leroy Hollywood. I mean, Quick Draw is just so good. Oh, actually, no, it's Lightning Hands. Alright, Quick Draw is good, but I'm gonna go with Death From Above. I like her, like, the... Long distance sniper. And there we go. Big success. Everybody's happy. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up. Commander. So we got some increased cohesion, we got some supplies there, uh her will increased, and we got, you know, promotions, which I really wanted, so that's good. For our next mission, alien loot. I kinda like gathering supplies as well. We could also try and hunt down the Warlock a little bit more. That would get us a lot of influence with the uh, skirmishers. There is a small chance of someone getting wounded, but that's about it. I think this actually might be a good idea. Just to get that out of the way. Uh, let's send out... Marie, I hope you're ready to get going again. And someone that's going to get extra hacking ability. Which would have to be a specialist, I do think. How about Nicole again? Exact same team. And if we send an extra soldier, then nobody's going to get captured. So I'm going to send out... Let's send out uh, Andre. Rocky. Yeah, that's good. We have, we have you know, rangers to spare. I say go for it. We're going to find that damn warlock. So now we can actually have more contacts, which I really like. So that's going to be something that we're going to do. Uh, we have, right, an extra gremlin available, but nowhere to put him to work. We still need to build something here, but right now, sadly, that's not really possible. Uh, but eventually we'll get to that. And we're getting a supply drop in two days. So maybe that will give us the supplies that we really need to, uh, to get another, another room going. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just gonna leave it here. In the next part, I'm thinking we go after the black site. I think with our improved weaponry... We're really going to stand a good chance, so that's probably what we're going to try and do. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later.